Hey, and welcome back everyone. This is Travis again, giving you part two of our uh, tutorial here on credit card validation. And in this tutorial, or this part I should say, we're going to be focusing on the what card function. If you recall last time, we did the LUN check to validate uh, the credit card. I, I named it validate CC, but it, it could be called, you know, I think we called it LUN check, whatever, but I just renamed it validate CC. Uh, but so as you could tell, we ran it through here, and we would see if the card is valid or not. And if it was a 60, or I'm sorry, number divisible by 10, it'd be true. And of course, we tested it out where if it was a number before that, we'd run it. And of course, it would be false, because this is 59, it's not divisible by 10. And if we put something really weird in there, we would run it, and it just wouldn't run at all, because it would fail the regular expression check. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and bring this back here. And this time, uh, we should be able to run this, and it should tell us that this is America Express card. Uh, so to do that, we need to work on our what function, or what card function. So I'm going to go ahead and change this right now. Since we know that our LUN check function does work, we're going to say what card. And uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to grab the cc num. So if you guys remember, I say var cc num equals get user input. Right? If you guys remember from up top, right? Get user input. That'll give us that uh, credit card number. And then I want my credit card object. I told you uh, in my video before I had a, a note saying I was going to use this uh, piece of code here. This is my credit card object, and let me try to explain a little bit this. Go back and copy and paste it first. All right, while well, I'm fixing this up, okay. So this is that uh, regular expressions that I got of the credit cards off that one website. Again, just to recap, it was off of here. And I went and copied these uh, regular expressions. So this is the ones I'm using. I haven't changed any of them. Let's go back to uh, Fiddle. And so what's going to happen is, is I'm going to uh, run this function to where it checks uh, these regular expressions that are attached to these to this object here. And it's going to return the property, which in this case would be Visa, MasterCard, whatever. Uh, so to do that, i got to use a... Uh, let me actually fix this real quick. i got to use what's uh, called object.keys. But let me check something out here. I'm missing something. Oh, yes, I am. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to do var uh, valid check, I guess I'll call it, equals, and I want the result of validate CC, right? Because that's what I named this one. Um, if you did it from part one, I named it LUN check. I just renamed it, that's all. And it should return me a true or false, right? So I need this to be a true statement. Uh, so, and this has to come first, by the way, because it's checking the credit card number in there. If you had these flip flopped, it would, I think it would give you a type error, because it wouldn't know what uh, validate CC is. Okay, so the first thing I want to do before I do anything is I want to check uh, that it does indeed uh, validate. So I would say if valid check equals equals false then I just I want to return invalid card so actually what I, here's what I want to do I want to create a variable called uh, not, not valid card uh, card name card name and I'm going to give it a default value of unknown okay And we're going to say card name equals invalid card because it failed the LUN. Or I could say uh, fail LUN check, right? But you'd probably you know write invalid card, right? Because that's what the user would want to see. But for our purposes, we're going to put that. And we're, immediately we're going to return card name because there's no point in me continuing on with the function if it failed, right? I mean, it's just sort of wasting resources. And besides, it wouldn't work anyway. Uh, next, I'm going to do, I'm going to be using the for each uh, function that we've learned from ECMAScript 5. So I'm going to say object.keys. 
And the object that keys needs an object, so I call this C, uh, CC obj dot for each, which iterates through the uh, uh, properties. Let's say function, and I probably should kind of put this up a little bit so everybody can see. And I'm going to look for the property. Now, the property is going to be, because this is part of my object, the property is going to be the name of it, like American Express. And the um, object, if I were to say CC obj prop, that's going to be the uh, corresponding uh, regular expression, in my case, the corresponding regular expression. So I'm going to say if. CC uh, prop, which is a regular expression, dot test CC num, right? Oops. And then I obviously, if it if it does, then I want the card name to equal that. So I say card name equals prop, and we're just going to return prop. I'm sorry, not <laughs> card name. Card name, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So we'll make sure we uh, test this out. Uh, make sure I got what card there, and I do. I'm gonna hit run, and we still have our sum here. That way we can kind of check things out. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and clear this. Let's do the uh, one that we're familiar with, which is the one that's in the image. And this should be a Visa card, by the way. And if we run this, it should say Visa, and it does indeed. And we still have our lunch check that passed. Now, if we get rid of the wrong value here, fail lun check. Exactly what we want. Why? Because it's a 69. Um, if we put something really crazy in there, fail lun check again. Uh, you know, again, more crazy stuff. Big numbers. Failed. Okay, good. Let's do uh, American Express. We might as well test this out. We want to make sure everything works. It's an American Express card. Okay, uh, let's see. Again, fail, fail on check. Let's try, let's try MasterCard. It should work. And it's a MasterCard. And again, same thing, it's passing validation because we know our sum is divisible by 10. And of course we know that if we just Got rid of it, and it would fail the lunch check, right? Because it's a 25. Um, also, I mean, obviously, you can type in random numbers and get lucky and get a good lum check. Um, and if somehow the random numbers equals up to a number divisible by 10, um, but it but it doesn't meet the uh, these right here, well, it'll just simply return unknown, like an unknown card, right? So I probably should name this like uh, unknown card or something. So if you happen to put in the right combination of numbers, where it just so happens to equal a number divisible by uh, 10, but it's not any of these cards, it doesn't meet any of these regular expressions, it was just return unknown card. Uh, so that is basically it uh, for this tutorial, just kind of going over things a little bit. I never did really explain this, but this object.keys, uh, we got this in ECMAScript 5, and <clears throat> it takes an object, and you're looping through this object with this for each statement. And in a for each, there's three different arguments that you could put in there. Well, actually, it's only one, it's the function. But part of the functions are there's three of them. Uh, and that's the property. And you can name it whatever. But it's, it'd be the property, like the key value pairs would be property. Um, and the index and the array, uh, if you want to return an array. Uh, but in this case, I only need the property. And I'm saying that. If the regular expression tests out to equal the credit card number, uh, if it tests out, then I want the card name to equal prop, and then of course I'm returning the card name. So that's really it, guys. Uh, this is how you would uh, basically uh, do this. Um, you would probably want to use uh, something like this if you really wanted to get the name of the credit card. A good example would be is maybe you're trying to do a survey and you're trying to figure out how many people are using certain cards. Um, 
or perhaps that way if you want to do some sort of rewards uh, for people who are using, say, a Visa card or something. Uh, it could be for statistical data is the reason why, but also it could be for uh, for the user user experience. A lot of times when you go on websites, when you start typing, I didn't set it up this way, but when you start typing the number, on the side it'll say Visa or it'll say MasterCard, and that lets the user know, oh, okay, I must be typing this in right. So that's the other reason why you'd want to do something like this. So anyways, that concludes this tutorial, and um, maybe I'll do another one sometime. This is Travis, signing out. See ya.